my departure from the court, I spent a lot of time, Chief Justice Mokweng and I, to reassure all of you that things are fine. We started at a very difficult space, you all know, it's a historic fact. And as I said in my departing address, we found each other. And once we are at Edem, that our obligation is to serve our people, to serve them with energy, with industry, because honesty alone is not enough. <laughs> We've got to have all of the other things. You've got to be a good judge, a hard working, read your records, write up your judgments, and try and reach just outcomes. All of those things are a package. So we agreed that the, the right way to be is to have unqualified commitment to our people to restore and protect institutions of democracy and to bring all the integrity that is necessary. And the reason for that is this. Whilst there is contestation in our society currently, institutions of democracy like the public protector, like the judiciary, I said earlier today in another interview, I like a damn wall. And as we increase the volume of water and fuse inside the dam wall, the dam wall may not be able to hold. So we have to re-engineer our democracy in a way that there are alternative sites of mediating differences. So the judiciary doesn't become everything for everybody. Mother and father and grandfather and uncle and every contestation in our country has been converted into lawfare of sorts. We judges pronounce on nearly everything. And Parliament should be able to resolve at its side in a way that's credible so that people don't run up to us and say, tell us, we parliamentarians, how should we run our show? <laughs> but you know it happens often. Um, tell us whether SABC is treating us fairly. Tell us. And all of these things are guaranteed by Section 34 of the Constitution, which says that any dispute that is capable of resolution by application of the law um, must be decided by the courts or an appropriate tribunal. So there's an obligation on the courts to decide these issues. But think of the range, whether it's Bashir, something which OAU and them should have resolved the issue under the Rome Statute, and the judges are seized with it. Whether it's IPIT and the police fighting about who's a good cop, bad cop, we have to decide that. Whether there are fights within political organizations, which are now becoming endemic, whether there are murders which are politically motivated as people fight for space within the political hegemony, courts have to do with that. The fallout with students, courts have to do with that. Interdicts overnight, urgent application. So what I'm really saying is we have a good judiciary. I think it is in place. I hope most of those, that ethos will stay there and float around while we're sorting out our democracy. We need good democratic processes. Um, we need an NPA that works, IP that works, public protector that works. All of those were meant, Auditor General, that works, indeed he does, and, and all of those were meant to catch the hell out there. And adjudication was meant to be a refuge of last, last resort, not of first resort. Even presidents come to courts and say, interdict her, interdict her. So you can see the load that courts have. An ordinary governance should resolve that mm. without judges saying, I interdict you from doing this or that. 
So um, if you ask me for a prayer, that is my prayer that we should not have so much lawfare, so much pressure on the judiciary that it uh, caves in at some point or is overly politicized or is incapable of doing its regular judicial function because it's mediating essentially political disputes. Thank you.